Uh, thank you once again uh, to, to our partners. But let's jump right in. As I said, we are our first speaker is uh, Hugo Venter from Zell Solar, uh, who is going to tell us about the latest innovations with regards to residential solar. For those of you who might not know Hugo yet, quick word of introduction. Hugo is the sales manager of Zell Solar. It is based out of South Africa. 10 years uh, experience specialized mostly in residential and commercial storage solutions. Uh, he previously worked with companies such as First Battery, uh, South African Renewable Energy and Metering Solutions, and Global Energy Management. Um, and uh, on top of having a business administration background, he also has a postgraduate degree in energy management. So, Hugo, I think it's fair to say that you are the perfect person to tell us about <laughs> the latest solutions with regards to residential solar. And I'm going to give you the controls so that you are able to share your presentation. And as soon as you're ready, I'm happy to hand over. Yeah, very good. Happy over now. to you. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sure you guys got a brief history on Collective Energy and Zell Solar. We are about one company, one based in Eastern Africa and one based in Southern Africa um, as well. Let's just start with the first slide. So basically, who are we? Um, Collective Energy Africa um, was established in Kenya 2021. Um, we are official distributors of the BYD uh, product and Zal Solar was established uh, shortly after after very good success um, in the Kenyan market and East Africa Zal Solar was established to um, add value in the in the southern African market um, at the moment BYD is spread quite nicely to uh, the collective energy distribution channel so in East Africa it is collective energy Africa southern Africa Zal Solar and we have now established uh, um, a plant in Chile as well um, called Altafox. So what do we do as an organization? The, 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 fun, the three fundamentals, as you saw in the video, local presence is exceptionally important to us, local warehousing, so stock is available for um, our distributors and installers. Um, regular training across the, across the continent, um, across Africa, we offer training to installers and distributors to keep them up with the latest technology and, and, and the latest product um, information. And more than that, um, local support, um, we understand that there's um, a, really a lacking in the, in the residential space when it comes to technical support and after sales. That's where a lot of businesses have struggled to actually support certain battery brands. And we've made it a, um, a, a a pivot of our organization to make sure that technical and after sale support is absolutely paramount and second to none. So BYD stands for build your dreams. Um, as somebody who's been involved in installations, I can tell you, you spend countless nights um, waiting for that phone call to ring because of a bad installation or bad product. Um, and BYD allows you to have literally sleepless, um, sorry, uh, good night's rest. Um, so why BYD LFP batteries? Let's get into that. So from the start of our manufacturing process, right to the end, from mineral resource development, process development, B, um, BMS manufacturing, right up until packaging, everything is done in-house from BYD. We don't outsource the BMS. We don't, we don't outsource um, software for our BCU. Everything is done in-house from start to finish. This allows you to have a solid product um, and you don't have the issue of having um, subcontractors or other parties involved in the manufacturing process where if something goes wrong, everybody's ready to pass the buck onto the next organization. BYD handle everything from start to finish. It is a robust um, operation and they do it really well. So it's an end-to-end -end manufacturing process because everything is done in-house from BYD, we've been able to achieve a maximum safety um, on our products. We've never had issues of um, safety related fires, for example. If you ask um, installers from the South African market, they'll tell you we've had issues where you install a system, you leave the house, you come back and the house is on fire. This has happened a few times in South Africa, mostly because of, of the, the, the temperature and the, how, how hot it gets there or bad installation in general. And what you find is that the, the lithium cells, because they're so unstable, 
it explodes, and then you have a house fire. We've never had that with BYD. We never will have that with BYD. As you can see from um, the tests we've been running, where we actually pierce the batteries directly, we pierce the cells directly, nothing. Our batteries are 100% um, of the highest safety when it comes to that. So the, 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 the most the most critical thing about the BYD battery is that you're able to use the one battery in your house, the exact same battery you can use it in a school, a hospital, or small business. It's flexible. It's a scalable solution. So our batteries are able to you be used on all fronts from a very small solution to a very large solution. This goes in hand in hand with the expansion. So if you if you feel like you have a residential solution and you just need two batteries for now, and in three months you'll have a budget for another two or another one, you're able to seamlessly achieve that with the BYD battery. So you can expand as you go on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis, whatever meets you and your clients need, you're able to comfortably expand. And this is one of the, probably one of the only brands in the market that allows you a seamless process when it comes to expanding from one um, all the way to um, 200, 300 kilowatt solutions. And then when it comes to the environment, um, as you know, Africa gets really warm. We're in Kenya right now, we're having a colder day, but Africa gets really, really warm. And we've had, we've done installations in the Namibian desert, for example, and you can imagine the, the, the temperature there is scorching and our batteries have performed on in those conditions as well. Obviously a really good installer will, will make um, provision for, for temperature conditions, um, adding cooling systems, but our batteries are flexible enough to handle very high temperatures, very low temperatures, and we are compatible with all the major brands um, in the market. In the Southern African market specifically, I think we have over, over 35 inverter brands um, in the market, um, some of the highest quality and some of the lowest. Um, so we, we do offer an inverter compatibility list just to make sure that if you ever use our product, use, you can, you, you're using it with the correct inverter band or compatible inverter brand um, just to ensure that you have seamless in integration um, with the installation. To date, um, BYD has installed over 800 um, installations, not units, installations. And we've had absolutely no issues on, on all of these sites. Everything's moved seamless. Um, these are low voltage and high voltage installations. So BYD in terms of um, the African market, the European market has been around doing installations for a very, very long time. So this is just a dive into the BYD battery box, the actual products, the technology, and where we can apply them um, you know, for your local installer or your local market and where it fits in really um, in terms of value. So we've got um, on the low voltage side, we've got um, four products we will run through um, carefully and swiftly. The LV5, LV Flex Lite, LVL, LVL Premium, and so let me just move the screen here. And the, the high voltage solution as well. Sorry, Mr. Chen. You just mute your mic, Mr. Chen. Sorry about that. Okay, on the LV5, this I'm really excited. Smaller, more compact, also scalable solution it goes from five kilowatts up to 160 kilowatt hours, um, connected in parallel only. This was designed specifically for the Southern African market. It's a fierce competitive market, and we wanted to have something that's really good in terms of quality, yet still affordable and meets the market standards. Um, it's one of those batteries that you don't necessarily need to add an additional BCU, a uh, battery control unit. Um, they've all got online BMSs in them as well, and they're 100% scalable. You can have one battery or up to 32 connected in parallel, on-grid, off-grid, or um, hybrid solutions. It works perfectly fine. Um, at the moment, they are compatible with the Solus Inverter, Daya, um, Victron, and Mega Revolve. Um, we're still under testing with, with other inverters, um, but at the moment, those are the ones that we really feel um, will give you the best value with this battery. 
Next is the Alvi Flex Lite. Um, the Alvi Flex is BYD's flagship battery, for must be honest. It's had the, the best performance across Europe and Southern Africa. It's our flagship battery. It's our go-to battery for almost all applications. Um, again, you can go with our batteries because it's a scalable solution. You can go from one battery, four, all the way up to 64. And you can scale these as you need to, one at a time, four at a time, as you need to. It's perfect for residential and commercial solutions. Once again, on-grid, off-grid, hybrid as well. This comes with the 10-year the the warranty we offer from BYD. And there's a wider range of inverters because it's, this battery has been in the market for so long. There's a much wider range of inverters that we feel are comfortably and seamlessly compatible um, with this battery. So like I said, this is our flagship battery. It's one that's been around for a long time. The only the only component we add with this battery on, on, on every installation is a small um, BCU unit here. So whether you have one battery or 64, you'll just need one BCU um, coupled on with it just to control and help the batteries communicate effectively with the inverter. And from that, if you, from that you have a seamless solution, um, no compatibility issues like you've had with other brands, um, no low voltage errors like you've had with other brands. The whole system operates as one battery seamlessly once we've added in our BCU unit. So it's a really effective solution in today's market where customers Customers are really looking to expand or move from um, an, a hybrid to an off-grid solution or move to a microgrid uh, solution altogether. So this is um, installation we have here in Kenya at Stratton University. Um, the battery lab where we've installed these batteries. Um, we also have uh, um, a lab as well at the South in South Africa at SAE, South African Institute of Electrical Engineers. We have a, a very good lab there as well. We've been, we've installed some batteries. Um, if anybody ever wants to have a look, we'll be glad to give you guys access to that site as well, just to see how the batteries are installed, how they operate on a hybrid solar system. This is just more again the, on the LV the Flex Lite because it's just been our flagship battery. As you can see, you can expand up to 64 batteries, which makes it a very flexible and scalable solution in today's market. As opposed to just buying one large battery and outlaying all that money at once, you are you have the option of planning this over a year, over three years, over five years, and slowly but surely building your battery bank with our solution. So it gives you good flexible flexibility from an economical point of view um, as well. And then this is, um, I call this the big boy. It's our LVL 15.4 um, kilowatt hour battery. Um, this solution goes up to 986 kilowatt hours if you connect it in parallel, which is close to a megawatt hour. So again, this is why I say you can use our solution anywhere from your home all the way to, all the way to your small business, uh, your office park, um, any small commercial as well. You're able to use this solution because it's fairly scalable. So on this specific um, battery, you've got two modules that makes one 15.4 um, LVL battery. You can stack them one on top of the other, and then you'll have um, uh, a 30 kilowatt hour solution. And then from there, you're able to stack up to 64 batteries in parallel, which will give you the 983 kilowatts if it's needed. Um, obviously, once again, as you, as, you, as, you, as you go, you're able to add on um, to the solution, depending on, on your requirements, on grid, off grid, um, hybrid as well, or backup, and with a lovely 10 year warranty from BYD. Once again, as you can see in the corner here, the solution also requires um, the PCU to, to be installed, whether you have one battery or, um, or, or 64. Um, please don't confuse the PCU with the PMS that's inside the battery. It's two com completely different components, and they, they have two different operations in terms of what they are required to do in the system. This is just a lovely installation to see how seamless um, the batteries can be installed, as you can see. That's three batteries installed over there. One, two, and the third one in the corner. And this is our high-voltage solution. We've also got a, high, a great high voltage solution that we offer, the HVS and the HVM. Um, the HVS goes up to um, 38.4 30, kilowatt hours um, connected in parallel and 12.8 in series. 
and um the hpm you can go a maximum of 62 kilowatt hours um on the parallel and 22.1 in the series again we've got a lot of um at the moment now especially in the markets like namibia and south africa we've got a lot of high voltage requirements and this is the perfect solution where you've got a residential standing or, or a small business that requires a high voltage solution and as you can see we've got a, a range of inverters that we are perfectly compatible with in terms of installation um this is a very easy system to install. It's a very simple plug and play solution, minimal cabling um, and, 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 and labor when it comes to installing the system. So there's a lot more value added to there because it's a quick system to install and introduce to your customers. Again, there's plug and play, no cabling involved when it comes to connecting battery to battery solutions. Um, this is just a quick run on um, what we, we, we've been introducing now on the CNI space. We've got a Max Light and an MC Cube. These are going to be introduced now in the, the third quarter from BYD. So on the Max Light, um, it has up to 12 um, modules per Max Light from 30 kilowatts all the way up to 90 kilowatts. In classic BYD style, you can have one cluster or 64 clusters that'll take you up to 5.7 megawatt hours. So again, back to the same thing, scalable, flexible, that's who we are, that's what we stand for. So you don't have to have an issue where you have to put a whole container resolution. You can scale it as you need to, um, uh, depending on your customer's requirements. Maybe they might not need a full solution now, but you can build it as time goes on, on, on our, our max flight. And the, the MC cubed, um, this starts from two megawatt hours. So it's a much bigger solution that we're offering to the market. As you can see, just a quick rundown on the product summary. The LV5 that I first show you, we can have up to 160 kilowatt hours. The LV fix, up to 320 kilowatt hours. The LVL premium, just below a megawatt. Um, the high voltage solution, up to 66 kilo, uh, kilowatt hours. And then the max light, like I said, up to 5.7 megawatts. And then the MC cubed, we start from two megawatts all the way um, to the bigger utility scale solutions on that one. So we do have a wide range of solutions when it comes to purely energy storage from residential all the way to the CNI. And at this point, utility scale as well is also in the picture when it comes to BYD. Just wanna to touch on um, a product we also Introducing to the to the market right now, it's quite popular here in Kenya. It's regarding the the EV charging. So BYD at this point and and going to Energy Africa, we partnered. We're going to have a system where we design, procure, install, and maintain EV chargers across Africa. Whichever city might want to procure this, whether it's for their transport system, whether it's just for residential offerings, this is something that we're offering to the market now going forward and again you're still going to have the great support you're getting from collective energy africa when it comes to the ev side as well obviously we have a, a level one which is the slower charging level two which is the faster and level three these will all be, be offered depending on excuse me the contractual requirements when it comes to ev it's slightly more complex in terms of what's what's available to the market um, in different regions but it's something that we are now in a space where we're going to be offering more, rap uh, more rap rapidly, sorry, going forward. At the moment, we do have a site here in Kenya where we've got a full BYD transportation system with EV chargers. Um, they're running buses from here. They're local. This is their public transport. They're running on EV here on, on, in Kenya. So it's something I've even questioned why in South Africa we don't have that as yet. So it tells you BYD are, are, are years ahead of everybody when it comes to innovation and, and how we, uh, they're currently operating in the energy storage uh, market at the moment. And then lastly, and most importantly, this is what differentiates Zeltola, Collective Energy, Altafox from everybody else. We have a robust um, online service center that caters to the needs of installers, maybe even end users at some point. So it's to, to, to a point where if you ever have an issue with your battery, you're not calling some random person or the installer back before you even get to a point where your battery has an issue of any kind we already know what's happening on the system 
we've got a great online service center. If you're an installer or if you're someone, an end user at home and you want to see what's happening on your battery, you can check on the Zelt Solar side or the Collective Energy side, all the all the Alta Fox side on our online online service center. It's all interlinked um, to one company and it's managed by a team of um, expert engineers. Quinby, I see your hand, uh, but Julia, we'll get to you in a second. <laughs> this system specifically is designed to make the re repair replacement process seamless for installers. Um, I've been in a situation or I've, I've worked in the industry for a while and I've seen that sometimes once installation is done, good luck finding the installer or good luck getting help from the from the supplier. We, we, we know, we're not about that. Our business is based solely on offering the product support and the product service. We want to be a service partner to our to our um, installers, to our distributors. We want to make it seamless for you guys to say, hey, we're having an issue in Rwanda. We're having an issue out in Kenya. You just log on here and within a few hours, our team gets back to you. And you don't need to mention, hey, I've got a Victron inverter. I, no, no, no. That's all there for us to see. We'll understand whether we're having an issue with connectivity, whether it's a Wi-Fi issue, whether it's a cell issue, whether it's a BMS issue. We have all that information and we're able to assist you on the spot. This is what sets us our product apart from everybody else. As, as long as you're getting this product from us, you are 100% certain that when it comes to support, maintenance service, you are 100% covered um, from Zal Solar Collective Energy and the Alta Box Group. So it's a very simple service center, as you can see. All the information um, is usually installed at inception from your installer. So they'll, they'll put in all the relevant information, the site, um, the serial number. It'll go onto our system. And from there, we'll, we'll, we'll actively um, be monitoring the ticketing system. So if there ever is a ticket, that's logged from your from your installer or your team. Um, one of our um, engineers will be able to access that and manage it from there. Um, this is again just gives you an insight to all the information that we see on our side once the ticket is logged or, or, or once we we've established there's an issue with with one of our batteries. And that's it. So regarding the 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 service portal I've just showed you to date, Collective Energy Africa and Zell Solar. Um, since inception, we've had just one battery since inception, one battery that we've had an issue with that's been returned or replaced. Other than that, every single site is running smoothly. Every single customer is happy with the product. So we've, we've built a really good product with a really good support system. And uh, it's something we want to offer to the rest of Africa, not just East or South. We want to try and, and offer this to West Africa as well to make sure that everybody gets the unique experience of using this wonderful battery, this wonderful brand, and growing um, with your company as well. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'll take any questions if there are now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hugo. And uh, yes, of course, we have questions. Um, maybe you can, yeah. Stop sharing your screen, so we're back, uh, back on screen, both of us. Um, there's been a few questions uh, of similar nature. Um, so I'll take the, the question from Eric. This is a question about uh, series versus parallel. Uh, the, Eric is asking your opinion um, between what is best between um, low voltage or high voltage for residential solution. Can you please... Maybe for those of us who, for the listeners who might not uh, necessarily know the difference between series and parallel, can you briefly explain and then address the, the question of uh, what you think is uh, the best approach? Sorry, I didn't hear you there, go again. So we've got various questions about uh, what is the best approach installing in series or installing in parallel. And uh, so the question is, what is your what is your opinion about the best approach, uh, especially for low voltage uh, versus high voltage for residential solutions? I think we lost Hugo there, kind of froze. Hugo, are you still with us? Currently not. Give him a few seconds to to connect back in. Um, I can answer, John. 
Uh, but Hugo is back. But thank ah, you very oh. much, uh, Rubio. Maybe maybe we can address this question later on. But Hugo, are you back? Yes, Hugo, we can hear you. John. Yes, Vincent, go ahead, because we're having trouble with uh, you. Maybe you can turn on your camera, please, Vincent. And so it's easier for everybody to... Uh... Yes, welcome back. Yeah, so the question on series, right? And the, yes. and the parallel. Yeah. So um, high voltage, uh, low voltage batteries basically come in... Our batteries are 48 volts, so these are low voltage. So even the inverter is really 48. You really cannot go beyond that. So it's basically 48 as a maximum. So what happens is that when you stack the inverters together, you maintain the voltage at 48, but the capacity and the current obviously increases. For the high voltage batteries, most of them are um, 50.2 volts. We have the HVS, which is a the HVM, which is 100.1 volts. So these ones, you put them in series, which is why you see the rule is always put at least four or two or one. Why? You have to series the voltage to be able to get the voltage that you require in a house. So you can only series high voltage batteries, but you cannot series low voltage batteries. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, next question, which is a which is a question which we have addressed yesterday already, but it, it's a really important question and it comes back uh, over and over again. It's a question from Martin. Um, what's the maximum ambient temperature at which the batteries can be charged and discharged without air conditioning? What is your Stop. recommendation, please? Yeah. If you, if you look at our, our for example, for the BYD warranty document, um, anything between 20 to 20 degrees Celsius to around 28, 29, even up to 30, in many cases, you won't need an AC. But something past 33, 34, which is very hot, you will obviously need an AC to be able to achieve temperature below 30 degrees. Um, in many cases, if you're having a containerized solution, the temperatures can actually be, be maintained below 25 um, so that you can be within, because the warranty is also based on the temperature at the point of installation. So we really have to be careful with temperatures, especially, especially for commercial industrial uh, solutions. So 20 to 30 would just be fine. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, building on, on this question about... Uh... Sorry, Hugo, you wanted to add something? Sorry, the, the, sorry, I just I'm losing. I lost network a second. I just switched Wi-Fi now. Was the question on on the um LV versus high voltage answered? Yes, 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 yes. All no right. worries. Cool. Cool. Sorry about that. Um, no worries. Uh, other question uh, still about warranty. Question from uh, Eric uh, regarding the warranty on battery. Uh, what is required from the manufacturer? Um, is communication between the battery and the supplier compulsory? And what are the things that are being recorded, such as your state of charge cycles and maybe other things? Yeah, great. So with, with, with the BMS inside the battery, it helps us record everything from when you turn the battery off to you turn the battery off, whether there's a surge in the grid. So all the information on how the battery is operating has been recorded. And that allows us to comfortably honor the warranty side. We do obviously offer a 10-year a warranty on the battery, the performance, the cells, et cetera. However, negligence is negligence. And you find that it happened as well, um, a bad installation or um, a customer tampering with, with maybe communication cables or something like that, that also maybe can cause the battery to, to malfunction. So... Whatever's on the battery and we can physically see and record. And if we can see that, hey, um, the battery's mal malfunctioned as a result of a manufacturing defect, no questions, no concerns. That's part of our service, sort of part of our, part of our policy. We will 100% stand by the, the, the quality and we will replace the battery or repair it, depending on what's required. So the warranty is something we stand on firmly, but obviously it must be provided. It's a good sound installation. It's very important. And obviously, um, uh, the, the battery is not in any way being um, uh, vandalized, um, uh, which we've seen in the market as well. Talking about ensuring that the installation is uh, properly done, Demeke has a question about uh, 
um, about training and manuals. So you have uh, you have explained, you have mentioned that you have a training center in uh, Nairobi, uh, and then you've also shown your online platform. Uh, I'm I'm guessing that the the underlying question is. Um, not everybody's able to travel to Kenya to go visit your training center. Are there resources online also for training? Yes, so it is twofold. One, there is resources online, which is great, but not everybody is, it's not as effective for everybody online. We also have a vast network in South Africa, Namibia, Kenya, now Rwanda as of the last week, as well as Zambia, of um, partners, channel partners that will offer the exactly the same thing. We'll be having training sessions in these regions through these um, various channel partners. We'll be having online sessions as well. So we do actually actively run training for installers and um, distributors alike constantly. It's an, it'll be a never-ending process for us. Because as, as long as our installers are equipped with the right knowledge, our, our batteries will never fail in the market. Excellent introduction to the next question. The question comes from uh, Bernard. Um, he's asking if you have a distributor in Ghana. And maybe I'll expand that question a little bit um, to, to, to ask you to explain how you are organized to, um, to serve different clients all over Africa. Because... Um, you're present in Nairobi, you're present in South Africa, Rwanda, Namibia, now you mentioned. Um, but what about the other countries? How do you how do you serve clients there? Vincent, do you want to answer this, please? All right. So first of all, I'll just go back to the previous question, John, which you mentioned a lab. So we have a battery lab in Strathmore in Nairobi, Kenya. We have one in South Africa, SAE, um, also in, in Johannesburg, and we have also another one in Uganda at um, Makerere University. These are very serious labs where people can be able to, it's free, it's it's open for everybody. They can go check what happens there. As regards moving to to West Africa, uh, the way we, we deal with this last year, we started operations a little bit in West Africa. This year we're going to you know gear that up, specifically in Ghana and Nigeria. So, so we already have partners there. We just need to activate them. So I think in a couple of months, we will be there in terms of the stock, in terms of the technical expertise, we shall be there. Yeah. Very good. And then maybe a last uh, last question. Uh, question from uh, Bekia, um, asking about the challenges maybe that are related to integrating your solutions with uh, other pieces of equipment of a more complete installation. So you go explain that there is compatibility with a whole range of different brands of inverters. Um, my question is, is this compatibility like automatic or is there some con configuration required? Because sometimes we know that uh, the devil is in the details. Yes, it's compatible, but it takes forever to make it compatible. So okay, can you please explain how your solutions work? Um, more often than not, because we, along with our constant training, we have constant R&D. So more often than not, um, we are aware of what's happening with the inverters in the market and we update our systems to perform on that same level. So we do have a full compatibility list of inverters where You'd really just have to plug and play or maybe make one or two um, changes. But there's an instruction manual for that. Please, installers, there's an instruction manual. You follow the instruction manual, you'll be okay. In the, in the, in the rare incidents where maybe it's a brand new inverter in the market and we still have to check compatibility, we'll obviously let you know. But in terms of um, the brands we're currently working with right now, it's pretty much seamless. That's great to hear. Um, well, I see we've got uh, a few extra questions, a lot of interest around uh, the labs and, and the training options, which is uh, not surprising. Um, this technology is evolving quickly and uh, it's important for everybody to, to stay up to date as possible. Um, I'll let you take this on more individually after the session. I invite everybody. I see there's been a lot of questions in the chat box. Please, yeah. uh, people, submit them through the Q&A so that everybody can diligently follow up on them. Please, Annie, I see one. Sorry, just regarding the labs again. 
Um, we will be having trainings in every province. For example, if you're in South Africa, we will be having training in every province of South Africa over the next few weeks with Durban starting um, early next week, Tuesday. So again, we will be in your spaces uh, going forward. So expect to see us soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hugo, Vincent. Great presentation, great interest.